Hey guys, welcome back to another playthrough of Life is Strange Before the Storm. It has been 10 months <laughs> since I last played this game, but I really want to get back into playing it. I want to finish playing it um, soon-ish. So with that, let's get into it. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Deep. I think it'd be very uncomfortable to smoke a cigarette upside down. I've never smoked, so I don't know. Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? I don't. I don't know. I think about cars. I'm assuming that's bad. This thing is a mess. But maybe I can fix it. If. Chloe, you can't keep doing this to me. I'm trying my best. Chloe, David's trying to do what he thinks is best. He's such a tool. He's trying. It didn't help that you refused to empty your pockets. Whatever, I'm not going to play along with this little power trip. Chloe, can't you just forget about David for one second? Think about me. Maybe I just need space, okay? Maybe I need my daughter back. Oh. This beast wow. will never run again. The first thing Yikes. it needs is a new battery. All right. Well, I wonder got if I can find one around find here. Find a car. I like how the license plate says Anne Bonnie. <laughs> One would assume I need to find a car that looks like- Aha! This is no good. Well, fuck. Ooh, that looks shiny and new. What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? Oh look, a convenient latch. What's the purpose of this? Take battery. Here we go, the pick of the litter. Nice. I like how because of game, video game, universe mechanics. It looks like she basically just put a fucking car battery in her pocket. Gonna put my fucking giant fucking car battery in my pants pocket. Yes, put your hands back in. Yep. 
Yes, the dumbass gene is uh, quite prominent in this one. Oh look, a convenient screwdriver. Whoa, the car's not starting. Who would have thunk? <laughs> Damn. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Ooh, a text from Rachel. Chloe Price. I don't suck. <laughs> you really, really don't. My mom thinks I do. Don't know if I can stand going home tonight. Still there? Jeez, it's been like two minutes. Grab me something from home, then I'll meet you at the junkyard. See you really soon. You better. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well what do we got here? We got a rustic floor. A torn seat. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. And, oh, a broken bulb. <laughs> Beautiful. What do you do with my pirate flag? Right now, it's just hiding behind a cork board. Probably drives like one, too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Go and live your dreams, little lesbian. Yeah? Frank, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Ooh. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? No, the other business Frank. you do with Frank. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The Ooh, this is when they're gonna That's meet. When they start to meet. Okay. And, Frank? After you hang up, are you going to smash your phone, like, in the movies? And if so, can I smash it? Trust me, Price. If I ever have to smash anything, you'll want nothing to do with it. That's ominous. I'll see you. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. Let's see here. Looking good, nice. Bulb. You only get one chance to make a first expression. <laughs> it's too mystical. Ooh. The eye sees all. Let's honk it. Smoking kills Chloe. Open wounds I can't explain. 
express them better than you. You have buried childish qualities from me. Shit, I slept all day. <gasps> what the hell? <gasps> Is that her dad's car? Creepy. Like, literally, imagine falling asleep in junkyard and waking up to that. Dad? I like that angle, like it looks like someone dropped a camera. Creepy! Ooh, it's glowing. Marshmallow! Stab. You could just put it on with your hand like a normal person. <laughs> She's so extra. Let's mow some mallows. Wow. Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized, too. Creepy. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us. Just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence. With loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. Whoa. But sometimes, there's a greater beauty yet to come. Pretty. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? <laughs> of getting burned. Ew. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? <laughs> you could start a fire. So. 
So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? Hmm, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not supposed to give rides to strangers. What if I promise you free candy? Hop in. <laughs> Suspicious. Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A pirate flag? A cool blue light? Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. Escape? Like, for us to run away? Oh, I, I guess I wasn't thinking about it that way. Are you getting cold feet? I thought you were all bye-bye Arcadia Bay last night. I still am. I guess. You guess? It's not so easy. This truck doesn't even start, and we don't have any money. We can figure all of that out. I have no doubt. Besides, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. It's definitely Blackwell's loss. You covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me, too. Tried and failed. I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Us? Last I checked, you're the one who went all puff the manic dragon on that tree last night. What were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But come on, doesn't accomplice sound way cooler than accessory after the fact? <laughs> is that the official Arcadia Bay DA's opinion? Accomplice it is. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Same girl. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. <laughs> well, Doc. Fire David or Blue. Let's go with David. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks <sighs> he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? Step douche, step dick, step fuck. I think step douche is definitely he's, uh, uh, up there. Step douche. Because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. Poetic. May I also suggest step ladder? Why step ladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. Ew. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly <laughs> controversial. 
about, let's talk about the fire. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Someone who is also, may I add, a knockout in the looks department. Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. How to break into a viewfinder? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That makes sense. This is so gay! I've been booted from school, and... I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. That was... Actually, somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. Mm. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah... I'm just, ugh, I don't know. Oh, they're cuddling! Can we talk about something else? Of course. How about the truck? I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? I won't you just need someone around who <sighs> likes you for who you are and isn't afraid to call bullshit when needed. Let me know if you find any candidates for the job. Shit. It's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good luck. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's bad luck. How is telling someone good luck bad luck? You're supposed to say, break a leg. That's dumb. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something Yay. criminal. Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. <laughs> Hello, junk shack.
pretty dope clubhouse. <laughs> Act, I heard you got expelled. Sorry. Yeah, I rolled a one against Wells. Get it? Step says you're a nerd. Valid. Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. Alrighty, let's see what kind of goodies are in here. A bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. Ooh, can you change your clothes? Ooh! <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. I like... Frank, I'm at the junkyard now. Oh boy. All right. Well, tapestry. Can I do anything with it? Ooh, let's hang it. Beautiful. I like it. Where's Frankaroo? Who's dad? That's the woman we saw with Rachel's <gasps> dad. Weird. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? <laughs> Christ, get your ass in here. There's not a lot of memory left on my phone to record with, so I'm going to have to cut it short a little bit, but I will try to get the next part up very, very soon. I'm really enjoying this game so far. I like the art. I like the music. I like kind of everything about it. It's a really cool vibe so far, and it's really cool to see like all the little details filtering in from the original game as well, so I'm enjoying it. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.